and hoes fall in. We've got some things to talk about. Well, rephrase. I've got something I want to say. Let's get into it. You bitches is frauds. That's really it. Hi, welcome to my bubble where we do a little bit of adulting, a little bit of healing, and a little bit of creating. <sighs> hear ye, hear ye. I have some things to say. <laughs> Moral of the story. The girls don't give luxury like they think they give luxury. Let me explain why. And when I say the girls, I mean all the girls, okay? I mean the black girls in particular because, you know, we set the standard and that is the experience I exist within but like all the girls okay the Spanish girls the Caribbean girls the white girls who just want to copy after us you know the dolls the trade everybody okay all the girls the girls don't give luxury like they think they do now I guess that kind of depends on what you consider to be luxury, right? Now, me, I consider luxury to be ease, okay? I can move around whenever and wherever I want. I can relax how I please. I can get my nails done. I can get my hair done. I can get a massage. I am comfortable. I don't have to look over my shoulder all the time or I don't have to worry about random bugs in foreign countries biting me. Like, those are just not things that I have to worry about because I live a luxurious life. Like, these things are easy. Or I pay for a certain level of ease when it comes to certain things. Now... Yes, this is coming from the perspective of somebody who had a passport before they were in double digits. And like, yes, my first time out of the country without my parents was when I was in eighth grade. Like, yes, that sounds real privileged. Like, I get it. <laughs> I get that I was spoiled. I was the youngest and I got what I wanted. And like, yes, I was told you don't have to worry about the price. Like, yes, I was told those kinds of things. That's none of that played into why I consider myself to live a luxurious life just saying that's a side note that's why I fight so hard when people be like oh she's bougie like no I'm not I could be I very much could be but I'm not and that's why the girls is mad because imagine I was hmm. but yeah my father literally told me that he raised me to marry a football player I was like what <laughs> but it like that made perfect sense when he said that to me I mean don't get it twisted I was the youngest girl for a certain period of time I was the youngest period but like I was the youngest child for a certain period of time and like even with mad kids my dad was a trick so but like he was all, but he also very much set the standard of like this is what you deserve, this is what, how you deserve to be treated, and like you deserve to be courted, and blah 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 blah. So, I stand on that. Like, uh, do you see what I can do for myself, love? If you can't do at least what I do for myself, or better, we have nothing to talk about. I don't mean to ruffle any feathers. <laughs> I don't, I really don't. I don't mean to ruffle any feathers, but like, 
the girls don't give luxury. The girls are just trying to keep up. The girls don't give luxury. There's a very big difference. Now, don't get me wrong. Shout out to the like Aaliyah J's and the, and the speaking of which, shout out to Karen and Rita. Period. Shout out to Aaliyah's face. Shout out to the Jackie Inas, the Queen Nijas, you know. And that's just if we're talking content creators. Shout out to those girls. But like. <laughs> the girls are buying fake bags rather than hustling to be able to attain the actual bags that they are presenting to have. Is that the right way to phrase that? Like, the girls are booking Airbnbs in foreign countries that they, like, know nothing about. But, like, they don't care that they could get robbed. Or, like, they don't care that they end up spending three times as much. Because once you pay for the Airbnb, you got to pay for the groceries. you got to pay to get to and from all the tourist attractions that you're going to go do anyway. On top of paying once you're out. Like... We've already had the conversation on why resorts are better than Airbnbs, but I digress. It's just like, I don't gotta worry about none of that at a resort, okay? I pay for the room, I pay for the food, I pay for the drinks, I pay for it all. And I get whatever I want. Because I can afford it. But I mean, I get it. I get booking the villas and booking the Airbnbs to, you know, give the aesthetic and give the, like, 2020s version of, like, I'm a foreign. But, like, no. Just no. It didn't work for them. It's not going to work for the 2020s. Let it go. Just, but again, they were in a generation full of people trying to keep up not trying to actually live a luxurious life so when you know better you do better <laughs> it's my business it's my business yeah that's my call it my unpopular opinion if you want but like the girls are just trying to be part of the conversation they're not actually enjoying the ability to go the, to these places and see these things and do these things they're just trying to be part of the conversation. They're trying to be part of the... Oh yeah, I went to Paris. Oh yeah, I went to Greece. Oh yeah, I went to... Fill in the blank. The girls just want to be like, Yeah, I booked a, a, a private villa and it was so pretty and we got a chef and da da da. But they won't tell you how they spent $200 in Ubers or, and or taxis just to go back and forth. On top of spending $400 on going to all the popular dinners. On top of an additional... 150 on the bags one because you're checking bags two because they're overweight yeah they won't tell you all of that they're just trying to be part of the conversation if you know you know in the context of they're just trying to be part of the conversation it's like the girls will just go to these countries to post it not to experience the culture and like be amongst the people and they just they just want to post it and be able to have other people say like that must have been so cool whole time all they did was go out of the villa to eat lunch and or dinner and then they went ziplining one day every other time they were getting drunk in the house like you can get drunk in the house at home like (laughs) you know if i'm on vacation let alone traveling I'm, I'm best believe I'm doing something. Yeah. But then again, this is, that's me. That's, that's, I'm someone who travels and who experiences the different cultures and the different energies. And <laughs> I make it like it's part of the traveling. In Belize, we took their recommendations on like what to eat and what to drink. We spent money where they needed it. And we learned, um, why so many of the structures along the island are empty when you're driving from one end of the island to the other. In Paris, we learned a piece of the history when walking past the, when walking on the Eiffel Tower tour. Um, And it was given, like the tour was given to us by somebody who lives in Paris. 
when mom and I were in Aruba, we listen when they tell us not to go certain places at certain times, you know, in Mexico, in both Cancun and Tulum. The resort people will tell you good companies to work with, um, like versus the other ones, just because, like, say, certain, say, company A charges more than company B. Like, they'll tell you that. Just because they want you to have a good experience. You know, you don't get that when you book at a villa. You just take a chance and you pay for it. In Greece, when we went to Greece for a week, bro, Greece was the most amazing trip I've ever taken in my life. We literally went everywhere but the tourist places. I've never had such authentic food in my life. Greece was amazing. Just, yo, we were up in the mountains, like, eating, eating, like, not out of shacks, but, like, out of shacks. Like, (laughs) the most mom and pop restaurant, forget mom and pop shop, like, mom and pop restaurant you could ever imagine. It was crazy. And the way that the guy was whipping that bus in and out there was like, what? But, like, even Greece, we attended the cultural the cultural dinner where we got to like throw the plates and we got to eat all the classic foods and we took the dance class to learn the authentic Greek dance and we we learned when crossing the street like don't raise your hand at them because they find it disrespectful like just cross nod your head or whatever smile something but don't raise your hand at them the girls wouldn't know that they just go to post Athens and post amongst the Santorini tops like whatever rooftops whatever I don't know not to learn the culture in Spain we ate the what the locals ate and we if you know about the churros and dipping it in the hot chocolate in Spain oh my gosh if you know you know even in the Bahamas the one other cruise I went on was we took a cruise to the Bahamas and it was like, even then, we were amongst the Caribbean men and just getting catcalled all along the beach. But that's a, that's neither here nor there. Point is, we was amongst the folk, okay? The only place I wasn't amongst the folk was Jamaica because it was like hot COVID time. But that's neither here nor there. Point is, when I travel... I experienced the culture and the energy of that place. The girls just like to go and take pictures and keep up an aesthetic. Because you know, you don't learn these things, you don't learn these cultural habits and beliefs, if you will, basically when your intention is just to say oh yeah i went those i went that place see look at this picture isn't this picture cute you know especially americans americans are real stuck in like (sighs) americans are just real stuck up and it's like don't get me wrong at least like me can recognize and call you out on like you doing too much and me even at myself because I'm gonna call you out on it like I'm gonna hold you accountable because I can do that when I live a luxurious life like that's when you that's the responsibility that comes with my life I can't just be out here doing wild random shit you know I mean, I could, like, with the many other people that are out here doing it, but, when you know better, you do better. When you want better, you do better. See, but even, that's not, like, because in the context of what we're talking about, my standard just been higher than everybody else's for dumb long, like, my bare minimum is what other what everybody else considered to be excellent so we were never even in the same field we were never playing the same game (laughs) but that's just me that's me personally me 
That's why I said. But that's why I feel like I can talk about it because I live a luxurious life for real. Like I really, I really do live this life. <laughs> but that's neither here nor there. You bitches is frauds. That's really it. That's, you, you're a fraud. You add. You add to the reason other countries don't like Americans. And you add to the reason other countries believe Americans are stuck up. Because you don't care. You just want to go to these places because they look cute. And because you want to be like, yep, I was there, see? You don't care. You don't even... (sighs) The Twitter argument over people being like, oh, when I travel, I shouldn't have to get the other country's currency. Like, they should take American money what excuse me i'm sorry so you think that you were going to leave your home country and go to someone else's country and expect that country to take your currency in their territory just because you're in a tourist spot slash shop what what (laughs) perspective it's a crazy thing the girls just want to be part of the conversation they don't they don't want to live this life and it's like no i don't maybe take what i say with a grain of salt because no i don't have like the same ysl and chanel bag that everybody has right and everybody else posting where's around no i don't have the red bottoms that everybody gets to like feel validated but then like we'll never wear again because some shits hurt so bad and don't get me wrong because I definitely wanted my high school graduation gift to be red bottoms don't get me wrong but I'm just saying and notice I still don't have them yet no I don't have the nice car that I want and uh uh-huh, deserve slash plan to get but <laughs> my rent is paid and on time like my rent is people's car payment when they're on welfare paying $300 rent like it <sighs> ooh I digress mind my business just mind my business people have nice cars based on good credit but <laughs> are getting evicted crazy uh, yeah I don't have all these things but what do I have like you know what I do have I have my own apartment by myself at the age of 23. I have bills that are paid on time in full each month. I have manageable debt. (laughs) Go watch the financial literacy series if you don't even understand what that would mean. Um, What do I have? Friends who talk to me about more than just the next function that they want to go to and know that if they're coming to me I will tell them the truth you know and I have people that enjoy being around me and being in my energy which just is I watch people switch up from not being able to be my energy it's a it's a (laughs) it's a very interesting thing to witness Let's just put it like that. What do I have? I have an abundance of stories and experiences. You want to hear about the time I went to Greece for a week, even though it was the middle of my sophomore year of college? Do you want to hear about the time I went to Aruba for a week, just because I went on, I wanted to go on vacation? Do you want to hear about the time I went to Spain for a week, because it was my eighth grade trip? Like, do you want to hear about any of the concerts I've been to on U.S. soil? Like, floor seats to basketball games and Knicks games? Like, I have experiences and I have stories. Want to hear about my stories in DR? Crazy times. My stories of meeting celebrities, just like as an average person. Like, even just at 23, I have... I'm proud to say that I have a life slash live a life that I would be proud to tell my children about in full detail. Like if I, 
if I was like teaching them life lessons and they ask me like how do you know that when did you learn that and I give them the full story like in detail I wouldn't be ashamed of one piece of the story and not so many people can say that like because I don't I don't scam I don't lie I don't steal I don't finesse people I don't sugarcoat for the most part like that's actually what's gotten me in trouble the fact that I don't sugarcoat and I still have all of these experiences <laughs> ain't that crazy it's like I live the actual life that all of the scammers are trying to live tragic but that's why I try to spread financial literacy because like my people could be winning and they don't even know oh well not oh well because we're trying to make better the world the best place moral of the story I have an easy life I don't live a soft life yet I'm working on it but like I have an easy life and that is luxurious to me okay I play in my field and I'm able to <laughs> do these things you know imagine imagine when I'm in the same field slash <laughs> in the same tax bracket as the girlies everyone looks up to let's just let's all visualize for a second shall we mm. makes me makes me excited to think about going up a tax bracket but yeah that's really it that's what I had to say call it an unpopular opinion call it um talking shit call it a luxury rant call it what you want to call it but like do better in 2023 okay stop being a flexor stop being stop fake flexing okay let it go give it up stop fake flexing stop like that's all i can say because i can't give you the the, the key to life just stop stop fake flexing be authentic be authentic love you can do it have faith in yourself stop fake flexing okay do better in 2023 the girls don't give luxury like they think they do yeah if you made it to the end of the video and you don't know me hi my name is naori stick around you love it here duh embrace being a star subscribe follow my socials um it's 2023 baby well not yet but like we're going into 2023 baby okay do better in 2023 you know better you do better we got this positive positivity love do everything with love put love into the situation love and pixie dust over all of your experiences over all of your energies over all of your auras i'm speaking protection over you and the ones that you love and the things that you're invested in and i'll see you in my next video bye i'm pretty sure the um full cruise video is coming out after this but like I had to get this out because we're gonna have the conversation about why girls think I'm bougie and I'm really not bougie like I'm I'm actually super down to earth and if I was bougie <laughs> you'd actually have a reason to be mad but I'm not so okay I'm not bougie I'm just high maintenance and you can't afford me playing your field it's okay i have a show i'm gonna go take some pictures and some videos and ting bye